What's going on everybody? So today uh, I have some exciting news. I just wanna update everyone on what's been going on in my life and then on top of that with the Evo. So basically uh, my life is not as much, it's not as important as the Evo, but I mean, I got a new car. So not really a new car, new car to me, but I got a daily driver. So I paid 800 bucks for it, it's from a friend. He bought it at auction for 400 um, and it runs great. I've been doing Uber Eats, so I've been making some extra money on the side when I'm not working my other two jobs. But the advantage to this is the Evo is going to be done quicker. So the money that I'm getting is actually uh, going to get all the little parts that I need just to finally put this whole thing back together. So for the Evo 10, I mean, it, right now the engine is sitting, the transmission is sitting right next to each other, and then the car is sitting right in the parking lot at the dealership. So we have all the parts. I have to deliver all the parts I bought. The clutch, all the transmission parts, like the AMS uh, slave cylinder, clutch master cylinder, um, the throttle bearing, uh, you know, just there's so many parts. So long story short, we're getting really close to putting everything back together, but this is the plan. I'm gonna kinda just outline it all. So the first things that I noticed, like with the engine and people were commenting, and I wanna, Get a, or give a big thank you to Mad Scientist Mike uh, for giving me this advice. He's always been very helpful with everything. Um, so one thing I did want to mention, um, so everybody knows the harmonic balancer, the dampener, the crankshaft pulley, they have all these different names. But basically it's the big wheel that uh, turns the serpentine belt uh, and it's uh, for your crankshaft, obviously. So the crankshaft uh, from the rotating tor tor torsional I guess mass when it rotates. So the stock one is not good for high horsepower because eventually over time, I guess it's not reliable because it'll it can get wavy. It can uh, it's just not overall. Uh, it can't keep up with the power demands and torque that I'm going to throw out the car. So they all uh, so Matt Scientist Mike said you better be upgrading that to a fluid AMPR uh, harmonic dampener. So the thing is, it's going to replace the crankshaft pulley. You put on the new one, done. So the good news about that is, is that it's just added insurance. It's about a, it's about a four hundred dollar part, but at this point, it's like what's four hundred dollars? I mean, we have the engine, we have the transmission, but are we really going to risk, you know, blowing or breaking other stuff because of not upgrading a simple part? So it's really coming down to, you know, and that's that's where it comes into a big part of the build because everyone's like, oh, I'm just going to build the engine, I'm going to build the transmission, the car's going to make this amount of power but you have to look at every single aspect of it. You know, there's other parts that are more important for that build that is just going to bring it together. I mean, that would be like having a thousand horsepower car and stock, stock suspension. I mean, let's be honest. We know the Evo 10 transmission or uh, the Evo 10 suspension is just not that good. I mean, you have the body roll, you have, I mean, you have like the, the body roll is a lot, I will admit, it was a lot less compared to like a Mitsubishi Lancer. But when it comes down to the actual suspension and performance, obviously you wanna go with a good uh, coilover, like a TNZ or a, a BC coilover. Um, so that's where it's it comes down to the, just the small things. So obviously at a thousand horsepower, you're gonna upgrade suspension, but obviously why not upgrade the small things that are going to make the build complete? So it's just, like I said, I don't want to get the car back. I have it for two months, three months, maybe six months. I, I just want to, you know, be almost like, <laughs> almost beat the world record for a car not having any issues. But of course that's unrealistic because every car has issues no matter what. So there's going to be small things to tweak, of course, throughout this whole process. Uh, but just to give you like a time frame where we're looking at. So the next purchase will be the harmonic dampener from, like I said, fluid AMPR. Um, then we have the new spark plugs I'm getting and then uh, lava wrap. So the lava wrap is going to, of course, be for the turbo kit. Um, so as soon as I get that new harmonic dampener, they can move forward with putting the engine and transmission, everything together. Of course, I have to deliver all the parts that I bought. Um, and finally, when all the engine and transmission is together, uh, then we're talking everything, drivetrain as well, axles, um, everything, the uh, cross member. So then it's gonna go to my buddy's house, Edmund's house, that actually the mechanic that's working on it. And we're just gonna take time to make sure that everything is precise and clean with the turbo kit. So the ETS turbo kit will be installed and then uh, it'll come down to wrapping the manifold and all the other stuff. 
After that, I plan on having the car here at my house for a second. It's not gonna be running, but the fact that it's gonna be here with the engine and transmission in it, with everything connected, it's gonna feel well. Plus it's gonna have the new tires and rims on it. Uh, and after that, it's gonna go four miles away to another shop called APR uh, Performance. And they actually do, um, they are going to do a four inch exhaust for me, which is the straight pipe. So it's gonna be, so you have the three inch ETS down pipe. From the down pipe all the way back, it's gonna be four inches. So it's a uh, four inch diameter and all the way to the end. So, I mean, we're talking, it's gonna have a lot of airflow. And then on top of that, we're gonna do three inch intercooler piping. So it's really going to open up the airflow on the car, make sure I can make that 900 to 1,000 horsepower mark. Um, and then finally after that, once it comes back, I'm thinking the car's gonna stay here for just a little bit more because finally it's gonna be time to save for that, or at least, start the purchasing process of getting the $6,000 MoTeC M150 computer. Finally, it's gonna be transported up to Jacksonville, Florida, where Mad Scientist Mike is going to work on the fuel system, installing MoTeC M150, as well as all the sensors needed for that. Finally, he's going to start the car up. And English Racing is actually going to be giving me the computer as well as the stage one map tune. Basically, it's a break-in tune, can start it up, we can see how things are working, if they're not working, what issues are there. And after that, then, apparently this is what's really interesting, the motor does not have to have a full break-in. It can have a 20 minute startup, let it run, let it idle, drain the break-in oil, put in your full synthetic race oil, and finally throw it on the dyno to make the 900 to 1000 horsepower. So stay tuned, more videos are coming. I have a lot more to uh, get into with the Evo 10, but we are finally reaching the stages where it's getting close to being done. So stay tuned.